Hi everyone, again it's me your math teacher Jello. For today's video, I will give you another example on how to solve exponential equations with different bases. So guys, what if ganito naman yung given natin? So 2 raised to x minus 1 equals 5 raised to 2x plus 1. Okay, so ang unang gagawin natin dito guys ay take the logarithm of both sides. Okay, same lang to sa previous video natin. Yun nga lang, yung mga bases na natin dito ay may exponent na parehas. Okay. So, take the logarithm of both sides. So, log 2 raised to x minus 1 equals log 5 raised to x plus 1. Okay? So, di ba we have rule sa logarithm, which is logarithm of power. So, that is the logarithm of m raised to a to the base b and can be expressed as a times the logarithm of m to the base b. Paki-play na lang or paki-panood na lang yung previous video natin. Um, so, if you have exponent here, eto, magpupunta rito sa front. Okay? So, the quantity of x minus 1 times log 2, okay, equals, so same lang din yan, guys. So, magiging the quantity of 2x plus 1, and then log 5. Okay? So, to get rid of logarithm, okay? So, divide natin yan by all terms. By log 2. Okay? So, ganun din sa kabila. So, ito ay magiging. Kakancel natin yan. And then, bring down x minus 1. Okay? Nasundan, nasundan ba ako, guys? And then, Using our scientific calculator, log 5 divided by log 2, that is about, first, copy ko lang to. So, this is equal to the quantity of 2x plus 1. It makes sense to put the parenthesis kasi we have a term pa rito, no? And then, multiply natin later on. So, the answer kapag dinivide natin to ay, it's about 2.32193, Okay? Nasundan ba ako guys? And then, simplify to Okay. Copy muna x minus 1. Equals. So guys, dito, i-multiply natin dito sa binomial. So, 2x times 2.32193. So, it will give us, using scientific calculator, 4.64 uh, 3 8, 6. Do not forget the variable x kasi nag-multiply tayo. Okay. And then, ganun din dito. So, itself. So, magiging plus 2.32193. Okay. And then, by combining like terms, itong x saka yung 4.64386x, i-move ko sa kabila or transpose. So, this becomes x minus 4.64386386x Okay? Equals Ito guys, copy nyo lang yan Bring down 2.32193 And then Ito guys, ilipat ko C minus 1 It will become positive 1 Okay? Nasundan ba ako guys? And then, ito guys, so 1x yan, 1x minus 4.64386x, so it gives us negative 3.64386x, of course, do not forget the variable x. And this is now equal to 3.32193, okay, inad lang natin yung 1. And then, to get the value of x, divide all terms by, ito, okay, yung numerical coefficient ni variable x, which is negative 3.64386. Siyempre, ganun din sa kabila, by the division property of equality, so, divide natin by negative 3.64386. Okay? And then, Cancel, cancel. So, using our scientific calculator, and it gives us 
3.32193 divided by negative 3.64386, the answer will be negative 0 0.91165. So, x is approximately negative 0 0.91165. So, guys, lagging 4 to 5 decimal places ang kukunin natin. Okay, para mas accurate yung magiging sagot natin. Okay, so this is the answer.